Well, you know, what's funny is uh, she only became a Nobel Peace Prize winner in 2004, and, and I was quite old by then. So it's, <laughs> it, I think that the backstory is, was quite normal, to be honest, because it was, uh, she was just doing what she did, uh, an environmental activist, and I, I just thought that was her job. And everybody's mother goes to work or father goes to work or their home doing uh, a lot of hard work and that was just what my mother did so i didn't i never thought much of it um, until i was much older you know you uh, kenya you, we have about 42 different uh, ethnic groups and and they are generally grouped into three bantu nilots and kushites but i come from uh, the central part of kenya my my parents you know you come from where your parents come from so i didn't really <laughs> grew up there, but my, my mother was from an area called Ihide in, in Nyeri, Nyeri County, and that's right at the foothills of Mount Kenya and the upper dares, almost in between, uh, in a valley. And she, her whole life and, and her life's work, really, which we'll talk about later, was, was a function of where she grew up and the lush beauty of nature in that area. She writes a lot about it in her book. But we would be traveling in a place like Japan, which is pristine. You know, you're, dry, you're in this train and you're going and all you see is forests and forests and forests and no, no soil exposed. And she clued me into the fact that when, a, when the soil is exposed, it's almost like a, 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 a wound. You know, you need to take care of it. You need to cover it. It's bleeding. And she was just, I mean, that, that kind of uh, power in her understanding and her drive to protect nature. So I always, every time I would see soil, I would think of a bleeding wound. <laughs> you think, oh my God, this must be really painful. And it was a time when uh, a survey had come out, the East African Youth Survey, that showed that young people were 80% of Kenya's population under the age of 35. Can you, I, I couldn't wow. I refuse to believe that because that means I'm not young yeah. anymore. <laughs> but the, the truth of the matter is there are a majority of them and a much fewer of the rest of us and that they are the future, period. 